Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here. And yes, the Splatoon 3 version 2.0 update is finally here, along with the new chill season stuff. We're going to take you through every notable change, and we're going to do it relatively quickly and concisely. If you want more details, then there'll be a link in the description to the full patch notes. But anyway, that's more than enough waffling. Let's dive right into things. <laughs> First things first, we've got some new weapons. So first of all, the Splattershot Nova, which is balancing range and fire rate and kind of damage, but it's a little bit weaker. It's kind of a sort of a middle ground between a Splattershot Pro and a Splattershot, at least to my feel. It comes with a point sensor and the Killer Whale 5.1. Then we've got the Snipe Writer 5H, which is a new charger weapon where you charge it up and then you have five reasonably well-ranged shots. I mean, they don't kill in a single hit, but even so, it's kind of terrifying. It comes with a sprinkler and the excellent Tacticooler. Then we've got the Big Swing Roller, a little bit weaker and faster than most other rollers, but my word, what a widespread this thing has, like good gravy. It comes with a splash wall and an ink vac. We also have 10 new variants of existing weapons, such as the Custom Splattershot Junior, that comes with a Torpedo and Wave Breaker, the Tentatech Splattershot, which comes with a Splat Bomb and Triple Ink Strike, the Slosher Deco, which comes with the Angle Shooter and Zip Caster, the Inkbrush Nouveau, which comes with an Ink Mine and an Ultra Stamp, Aerospray RG comes with a Sprinkler and a Booyah Bomb, Forge Splattershot Pro comes with a Suction Bomb and a Booyah Bomb, Carbon Roller Deco comes with a Burst Bomb and Trizooka, Luna Blast and Neo comes with a fizzy bomb and an ultra stamp, Zinc Mini Splatling comes with Toxic Mist and Big Bubbler, and Dapple Julie's Nouveau come with the Torpedo and Reef Slider. And if you're playing Salmon Run, there's also the Grizzco Splatana, which comes with Pain. There have also been some adjustments to the weapons, for example, the Tri Stringer, Splatana Wiper, Angle Shooter, Zip Caster, Ink Vac, Reef Slider. They've all been buffed, but far more importantly. <laughs> Yep, the Tenta missiles now have a cooldown before you can even begin to charge your special again, and it's about blinking time. Some weapons have also had their required points for a special charge changed. For example, the Aerospray MG, NZAP 85, Splattershot Pro, Jet Squelcher, H3 Nozzle Nose, they've all had their required points for a special charge drop by 10, whereas the Elita 4K and the Elita 4K Scope have had theirs increased by 10. We've also got a brand new catalogue for the season with all sorts of lovely things to unlock, of which you can see here. And as you can probably tell from the footage, you can now view the catalogue in the game. You don't have to use the Nintendo Switch Online app, which is good. We've also got X Battles, which is a super hardcore version of the Anarchy Battle System, and it's for hardcore boys and girls not me. You have to be rank S plus zero or higher, and you'll be going up against other people of the same rank. So yeah, this is this is serious stuff. The whole X battling system is its own beast with its own clout and its own entire systems, and also it's split into two divisions depending on where you are in the world. You have the Takaroka division, which comprises Japan, Hong Kong, South Korea, Australia, and New Zealand, and the Tentatech division, which comprises the Americas and Europe. As for everywhere else in the world, I don't know. We've also got some new stages. Flounder Heights, a classic from Splatoon 1, returns. And then we've got the brand new Brinewater Springs, which is, as I said, brand new. And if Salmon runs more your cup of tea, we've also got Maruna's Bay. Nice. There's also new gear, and according to the patch notes, it says about 50 new items. Not my words, the words of Squid Research Labs. Now we're on to more of the sort of general sort of vagary stuff, so this is going to be even more rapid fire. There's a new Wondercrust journey with Krusty Sean on Splatnet, and the reward is some fry tops, which are some shoes. You can now purposefully reset your rank in Anarchy Battle if you so wish. Also, some of the ranks in Anarchy Battle series have had their costs raised. You can now save Grizzco's job scenarios, which includes the weapon loadout and the stage so that you can replay them whenever you like privately. So if you want to play random weapons constantly and not worry about it ha affecting your rank or something, or you just want to get some practice in for a particular run that's making things a little bit tricky, you can do it forever privately. Big Run data has also been added for Salmon Run, but we can't play it yet, so we don't have a lot to say. The boss salmonid cap is now at 15 at once, which seems like a lot and is likely very, very unlikely to ever happen to you. But even so, you can be rest assured that the maximum number of boss salmonids appearing on the map at any one time 
is at most 15, which is already too many. Big shots have been nerfed, they're now slower to move, giving you more time to shoot them. Good. The Killer Whale, Triple Ink, Strike, Ink Jet, and Booyah Bomb have all been buffed in Salmon Run in some small way. Tricolor battles will now allow all players to be either attacking or defending. It's no longer tied to whoever wins the first leg, which is a good and better way of doing it. Well done. Also, tricolor battles will now be calculated in the final result, which I thought they were anyway, and now I'm confused. I'm assuming they mean it's calculated separately, or it's been adjusted and weighted differently. Either way, uh, uh. t-shirts can now be folded in lockers, which uh, that's good if you want to fold your t-shirt. Nice. You can now enter photo mode whilst in recon mode, even with other people in a private battle, so you can pose for the squads. Yo. Also, if you're by yourself in recon, you can actually get amiibo to appear as well. Spawn them in just as you usually would. That's pretty cool. The track title and artist of a song now show up in the bottom right hand corner whenever you start a match, which is nice because I can never remember what they're called. If you're entering a private battle, you can now choose a temporarily different name if you wish, which is kind of handy for tournaments. You know, you don't necessarily want to change your whole name all the time. But if you do want to change it to be maybe a little bit clearer, rather than having a load of X's and exclamation marks everywhere, don't even think you can have exclamation marks, you can now do that. You can also anonymize yourself if you wish. Nice. There's a new badge for using the shellout machine a lot. Ooh. You can once again listen to Sheldon prattle on about his weapons, which seems like, uh, I mean, at first I was like, why would I want to do that? But sometimes you can get a better idea of what a weapon might be good at if you're not fully understanding it yourself. You know, it's, it's not bad to be able to have that information again. It's kind of weird that it was unable to be loaded again for a second time. So, no harm done. There have also been some adjustments to the sounds that things make. Things like, you know, sub-weapons, like uh, splat bombs are a little bit easier to hear and stuff like that. Just little tweaky things, just to make it so that things aren't going to surprise you quite so much. Nice. A whole mess of bug fixes, like so many. I can't possibly cover them all here because it would bore you to tears. Instead, watch this. And there you have it. Those are all the notable changes in Splatoon 3's latest update. What an absolute honker. I've absolutely got to take my hat off to Nintendo in terms of like actual new stuff. It's pretty all right, you know, I like it. The catalog looks fun and some of the weapons are kind of interesting, although there's nothing that immediately leaps out of interest to me, except for maybe the sniper, but I haven't given it a major go. Mate, it's not even been out a day. But there's so much under the surface. You know, you watch the trailer and it's just like, hey, new weapons, couple new stages, and everyone's like, nah, 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 but under the skin, my word, they've done so much. They've really listened to player feedback and they are really, really implementing it in a way that really just oozes care. I, I love it. Still absolutely want a variant of the heavy splatling, but I'm sure it'll come in time. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you list all the bug fixes you'd implement for that subscribe button and be sure to check out NintendoLife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. Oh.